Hey guys, Dancy2, back with more Final Fantasy IV. Today, we just finished Palomon Parm's Trial. We got the Twin Stars, you can cast Double Meteor now. And I'm going to re-equip him with the Fire Hammer. An odd little thing about the Fire Hammer that I found, I'm not sure if this is 100% accurate or not, but for all the glitches that the North American release and the Japanese 1.0 release got, in the European release, the Fire Hammer is not Fire Elemental. It is Ice Elemental. Once again, I don't know if that's 100% accurate, but I, for some reason, I feel like it, it, it makes sense. You know, it's one of those things where we, we can't have perfection. That's impossible. But today, we are going to be heading down to the final floors. Yes! I was hoping I'd hit this one. This is final one. Uh, this area is basically filled with these guys. Grudge puppets and, um... Uh, Death Puppets. They're Cacleo Brain... They're Cacleo, uh, Brain of Ripple and Brain of Palette Swaps and Cacleo Brain of Palette Swap, respectively. I think I could just break these guys. I'm not sure. But it's filled to the brim with them, and we're gonna want to kill as many of them as possible. Pretty much all of them. Um, I'm basically gonna be cutting the fights out, because it's all the same. If I can find an effective strategy, which I think break is an effective strategy on them. Otherwise, I'm just going to be, you know, hammering away at them. Because they, they kind of have a lot of HP, and they're a little bit tough. But break does work, so we have a solution. Next. Oh boy. Here, we have a little bit of a different thing. Death Puppets. Unlike the previous one, which break worked, here we're going to want to cast Tornado on these guys. That's what's going to help us here. Unless Kane can get his Tornado off, of course, in which case we'll just attack them from there. Ow. Hey, that didn't do too much. Finish him. And done and done. I'm just going to run around now and kill the rest of them. Oh boy, they gave me a potion. Yeah, I don't know if I'm actually going to cut this out, mainly because... It's basically Kane and then Palom, and then Palom can end them easy. Hey, uh, why did you do that on the other ones? You know, when it would actually be effective. Palom, please. Thank you. Next. Now that door up there is the exit. If you just want to bypass this entire area, you can just go up there and leave. However, the prize for this area is pretty good. Actually, really great grinding area too. As I just kind of do like one attack and they're dead. It's like less than a round and they're done. For some reason, Break takes longer to cast than Tornado, and it's it's bothering me. Well, you guys have probably noticed this by now just as much as I have, because I'm probably not going to cut out a lot of the fights, because they're taking less than a minute. It's going to take longer for me to edit them than it's going to take for me to actually, you know, than it would be for the fights to just sit here. As they are. Uh, what? Why did that... Oh, I missed. Crap, this isn't good. Well, now you can see what happens when stuff goes bad. I really hope Palin doesn't run out of magic, that's my other issue. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah! Unleash the fury! Yeah, Flare's not too powerful coming from Sid, though, because its intelligence stat isn't too high. Yeah, easy one. 
Some, I love that, how the these guys are the easier version. Because it's literally less than a turn for me to take them down. And by turn, I mean everyone's turn, of course. Alright, that should be everyone. So, it means we have one last fight to do up here with the blue doll. Which is just another death puppet. Uh, I thought he was finally going to get Tornado on that one. But Palom can do it. And that's that. Done and done. Now. Hold on, I'm going to make a save state here. Give me just a second. Okay. Now, if you don't have save states, be very, very, very careful when opening this chest. This chest has a bug in it. If you, When you open this chest, there is a chance that you're, it will crash your game, and you will have to reload your save and reload your game. Um, this is horrible glitch if you haven't saved in a very long time, and it can actually ruin your run. Uh, I've heard opening it from the side disables this glitch, but I'm not sure about that. But in all in all, it's actually a chest you really want to open, because it contains the Nirvana. It's not just an Unleashed for the Meditation Rod and Golden Sun 2. It is Palum Palum's Ultimate Staff. Uh, I believe you use it and it reflects. This, if you're, if you know item coding... This is the weapon from which the uh, glitch where the weapon effects don't work start. So if you know the item code numbers, this is the first one. Um, and I believe Sid's Fiery Hammer is the last one that is correct. This is the first one that's bugged. But it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, the bug really doesn't affect it too much because it doesn't have any elements or uh, passive effects attributed to it because you have to use it as an item for it to work. But it is the first one that's affected. Anyway, now that we have that, let's move on. Oh, I hate this run. My magic isn't working. Should have brought a fighter. Yep, just like the flan room, this place is warrior dominated, and I hate this area. Okay, there's nothing over there. Proto phase, you guys are like the uh, guys from the core of the moon. Except even worse. That's why I'm ignoring them. No. Pretty much gonna run from all the fights in this area. Blue Fang. Uh, nothing. This place is a giant maze as well. Which can get annoying very quickly. Luckily, I seem to be able to run away from him pretty easy. Now that I've said that. And a ribbon in here. Very nice. Uh, not that I think anyone can really use it. No, that's a good status resistance for him. I'm resisting the ice, so I might as well keep that on her. That resists... Fire, ice, and lightning. It's just fire, ice, and lightning. I might... Uh... Drops it by two, but increases match resistance by five. Um, hmm. No, wait. I want to keep. I want to hold on to that actually, because Edward might be able to use that pretty well.
King Behemoths, not messing with them without Yang. Um, I don't think there's, oh, there's another item. I don't think there's very, the rest of the items in here are, aren't that important, so if I miss any, they're just fangs, I think. That is if I missed any at all. Essentially, I'm going to try and get to the exit now, is what I'm trying to say. Run. Whoa. I think there might be an item up in the other corner. But I really don't care. Whoa, that was a little bit weird. Which means we might have glitched a bit. Uh, what is in this room? A Iron Giant ignoring you. Vanish your vest. This is for uh, Edward, I believe. Okay. Up there is a save point, and beyond that is the uh, secret boss of the game. I'm gonna get the hell out of here, though. Because we are not ready to fight him yet. We lack a few essential things to survive. Uh, mostly being levels and a equipment for Edward, and Edward himself, of course. Speaking of the Spoonie Bard, uh, let's go grab him. Not like that. Anyway, I'm going to grab up Edward and head for his floor. Uh, and I will meet you guys there. Wait a minute, what the f- Hold on. What the heck happened to my Enterprise? Oh, wait a minute, what? Wait a minute. Hold on. This warrants some investigation. If my theory is correct, should be... Yep. Apparently, we moved the Enterprise during Sid's trial. That's kind of weird. Oh well. Let's go get the Spoonie Bard and... Check Sid's equipment for first. Yeah, nothing Sid has that we need. Actually, let's equip everyone with their best stuff first off. Edge, I have so I have a sword and an armor for you. Assassin's Vest, good preventions. Edward, no, not Edward, Yang. Now getting Edward confused of everyone instead of Kane. Yang, I have new claw. Tiger Fang, because his boosted defense. And I have armor for you. I think that's it. Uh, Rydia, do I have anything for you? Oh, she gets the rainbow robe. So yeah, nice for her. And mistering, that's fine. Rosa, I've laid off, I do have things for you and I know it. I have the white ring that I forgot to put on her. Uh, that should be it for her. And lastly, Edward, I have a lot of good things for you. And I have my final party. This is my final party of the game. Edward's still a little bit under level, but I can roll with that. Awesome weapon, check. Resistance against fire. Best resistance against all attributes. Fuck yes. May decrease his attack, but that's fine with that. 
Oh, really? The red cap is better? Oh. Huh. This thing gets undead attacks. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna give him the protect ring. Protect ring is slightly better. Oh, yeah, the protect ring is definitely better. What am I saying? Alright, I think I'm ready for my last run down. Switch to King, maybe. Uh, before I do so, I'm gonna offload some of my stuff up here. Epic party and item sorting, go now! Hey guys, what's up? Hold on to that for now. Only five, you cheapskates. And it's ultimate armor, but still, come on. I can sell that for something. Again, axe I want to hold on to. Oh, I can't sell that for anything good. That's annoying. What is that from? I don't know. So many nervous places. I think it's a piece of shit. And the rest I'm going to put in storage, I think. Where is the storage at? I can't remember. My brain is dead right now. Uh, Romase. Dragon's Claw. There's some mail. Uh, the floor is here and there. I want to hold on to the Gigan Axe out front. Uh, some people will suggest holding on to Apollo's Heart because it will do extra damage against dragons, but honestly, I really don't care. Because the Loki's loot is so much better. And put Sephiroth's mace away. Furry to suit. It still perplexes me that that's good headgear for him, so I'll keep that out for now. Sort, and let's rust up. Preparing for my final trek down. Hopefully my final trek. That is if I can hit all the floors I want. Now, of course, the first two areas we've completed fully, so I will meet you guys at Edward's floor once I get down there, and we will start his trial next time. So see you guys then.